Triceratops is a super recognizable dinosaur, but we are basing our idea of our Triceratops on something that is not so solid. Howdy gang, Trace here. Thanks for watching D News. I loved dinosaurs as a kid. Maybe you did too. One of my favorites was the Triceratops. It had these big spikes on its head and it had like a shield carapace. Who was not here for that? Anyway, recently some research was published that said the Triceratops was not real. Firstly, a Triceratops skeleton is an extremely rare find. Like there are only a handful of them on Earth. Out in Wyoming this week, paleontologists unearthed a new Triceratops skeleton. They already think that this might be the most complete skeleton ever found, which means that there's half of it. <laughs> half, half of it. The Triceratops was discovered in the late 19th century by American paleontologist Othniel Marsh. He also discovered the Torosaurus, which he believed to be a cousin of the Triceratops. Since then, many, many, many skulls have been unearthed, but only three good skeletons. Three. That is not a lot. And back in the 1880s, Marsh based his entire species designation on even less. Most of the time, paleontologists only dig up bits and pieces of whole skeletons. They never actually see the full picture. Fast forward to the modern day and enter famous doctors Jack Horner and John Scanella. These guys spent 10 years analyzing skulls from the Triceratops and the Torosaurus, which, again, Marsh thought were different. These guys disagreed. These two paleontological experts say the Triceratops is, in fact, a teenage version of the Torosaurus. The Torosaurus has a slightly different angle on its horns and its skull is larger with more holes and frills, but the name will remain Triceratops. So for the five of you who have heard of the Torosaurus, you know, we're, we're sad too. How did this happen? How did my childhood get tricked? Well, Marsh was in competition with a guy named Edward Cope and this rushed work caused some problems. Most skeletons are not actually found as a whole. They're, they're small chunks or even more likely few actual bones. Remember the Brontosaurus? <laughs> Try and find it now. It's not there. It's like the Torosaurus. It was a juvenile form of a larger species. It grew up to be an Apatosaurus. So Marsh messed up again. He never even found an actual Brontosaurus skull. He used a skull from a completely different dinosaur to complete a museum model, changing science's future in the process. We weren't the only ones who were tricked. The US Postal Service made a stamp with the Brontosaurus on it. Jurassic Park featured it in its movies, and it wasn't even a real adult dinosaur. The Triceratops and the Brontosaurus show that maybe we aren't so sure what was wandering around on the Earth 65 million years ago. What is your favorite dinosaur? I'm all about the classic T-Rex. It is scary, dude. You should see a T-Rex eat a Triceratops. It does it in four easy steps, and eventually they like to kind of nibble on their face, the soft, fleshy parts. <laughs> Tell us all about it in the comments and subscribe to get all the D news. All of it.